What is going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to edit your videos with the iMovie app on the iPod, the iPad, and on the iPhone. Now, this is a very easy tutorial. I'm going to be splitting this tutorial into two parts. The first part will just be the video portion, the projects, and how to import your uh, videos into uh, your phone. And the second tutorial will be on the trailers option that uh, iMovie offers. So it's a very quick and easy tutorial, I hope, and I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. So let's go ahead and begin. But before we begin with the actual video, I'm gonna go ahead and give a huge shout out over at VidEasy for making this video possible. If you have never heard of VidEasy, VidEasy is a free HD stock video footage website where you can download free B-roll backgrounds and other cool video footage. Uh, you could also explore and discuss footage with other videographers from around the world. And it's also a perfect little cutaway for your next big project. VidEasy makes it easy to explore thousands of clips created by people from all over the globe. All the videos are free to download and depending on the license, they are free to use in your projects. So let's go ahead and begin with the tutorial. Alright guys, so to begin, go ahead and download iMovie from the App Store. It is for free. So once you have downloaded and installed the app, it is a big file. It's about 700 megabytes. But uh, once you download it, go ahead and open up the app here. By the way, I'm using the iPhone 6S Plus if you guys were wondering what uh, what uh, phone I'm using. So here you have different options. We have video. Uh, this is where all your video clips that you recorded with your iOS device. So all your video clips will appear here. If you go on to projects, this is where all of your projects will appear as well. Uh, currently, we don't have any, but we will create one in just a little bit. And on theater, this is where all of your projects will appear, where you could watch it on your computer, on your iOS devices, and on your Apple TV. Now, of course, I don't have any videos on my uh, iOS device, so how do I actually import videos? Well, if you have a Mac or a PC, you can use iTunes and import your videos or pictures onto your iOS device, and it's actually really simple. Go ahead and open up iTunes on your device. Go to uh, iPhone, of course, make sure you're connected to your computer. Go onto your, uh, your device, your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch. Go to the apps on the left right here under settings, and then go down and then go ahead and select uh, iMovie. And right here where it says iMovie documents, this is where you will allow uh, iMovie, in this case, uh, the application to have access to your video clips and your photos and audio and stuff like that. To add videos, all you got to do is click on the add button there. I'm going to click on add and that will uh, import the audio and the video. Now, keep in mind that you could also import photos as well, but keep in mind that iMovie doesn't support .mov files. It only supports .mp4 and .m4v. When you're done, go to projects, the projects file there. Click on the top left or go ahead and tap on that and then go to you have iCloud Drive. So if you if you have videos or pictures saved on the iCloud, uh, you can go ahead and select it right here. But I don't have that. So I'm going to go on to iTunes. From here, you could import media from iTunes that you imported from the iTunes here and iMovie documents. Click import two files because that's what we imported and it will import it and create a project for you. So now if we push play. You can go ahead and hear what's playing in the background. Cool. So once you're here, what you can do is, of course, let me show you before we do anything. If you click on this little plus icon, this is where you can create a project. So I'm going to go on to movie. Here you have a, you have a lot of uh, different templates that iMovie provides for you. So here you have modern. And it's really cool. You could, of course, customize everything from here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the simple one just because it's easy. And uh, you, you could, of course, just go on this uh, on your, in your own time. So click on Create. And then here you have different options. Uh, you have different tools and stuff. Right on the, on the top left, you have Done, just to get out of it. Underneath that, you have this little mic. And that microphone will allow you to record your voice. Now, I can't do that right now because I'm recording. You will have that feature there, and you guys can record a, uh, a voiceover, which is really cool. The next one we have under that is the Camera button. Um, and the camera icon to record uh, using your camera from your iOS device. The next one is to import media, which is what we're going to do. So we tap on that and then we go to either photos, if you want to import pictures or audio. And audio, this is where they have a bunch of uh, preset audio tracks that's built in with the app when you download it. So we have sound effects. You have a bunch of sound effects here. You have camera shutter. Which is really cool. The next one we have is theme music. This is the music they use for their templates. 
Uh, now you can't use copyrighted songs, so like you can't use J. Cole or Rihanna or stuff like that. So go to video, go to all, and then select the video that you imported. A really cool feature about this is that if you tap on the video and you drag this highlight on the very right, and you drag that, you could actually kind of uh, give you a preview of your video as you're moving along. From there, if we push play, you it's going to start it from the beginning, um, wherever this first little piece is. And this is where you're going to be grabbing uh, video clips or um, certain a certain uh, clip in time. So let's say I want it to start like right, uh, right here. If I push play, it gives you a preview of where it's going to start, which is really cool. The next one we have is this little plus icon with little waves that will get the background audio from that selected part into the timeline, which is really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag the whole entire video clip and import it by pressing the down uh, arrow. The next one we have is the settings button and here it gives you project settings. Now here you can change the filter on the, uh, on the uh, video here. Of course, if you have more videos, let's say, so right here, I wanna split it. I tap on the actual video here and it gives you a lot more features, but I'm gonna go ahead and tap on split. From here, your video is now split. So if you select on the first the first clip and we go into settings and we change the filter, we can change it to maybe dream uh, dreamy, I believe. Yeah, uh, and it's really cool. If we click on done, it's gonna apply that to the first clip. That's what the filter does. So I'm gonna take that off for now. Uh, the next one we have is theme. Of course, you can change it if you want. You have theme music. I'm not gonna you know I'll, I'm not gonna check that. That will just add the theme music into the timeline. We have fade in. I'm going to uh, go ahead and fade that in and fade fade uh, a fade out to black. You could do speed changes pitch. So what that does is if you, we go back. Um, OK, so when you import the file, the song that we we uh, imported here, I'm going to just minimize that. We're going to have last edited and existing projects. I'm going to go to last edited because that's the last project we edited. And I will go ahead and add the song in the background and it will be green just like in iMovie. And the pitch here, if we go back to settings, if we have that enabled and we speed up the video clip by clicking this little kind of gear icon and we kind of move it forward. And if you play it, go. Back out. let me go ahead and skip a little bit. <laughs> you can tell that the pitch changes along with the audio. So it will sound more um, high pitched if that makes any sense. So let me go and put this back. Let me go ahead and reset it. All right, so that's what this feature does, by the way. So if we want to speed this video clip up, all we got to do is go to this little um, gear icon and move it forward. And as we move it forward, the video clips get shorter because it's going faster and it makes the video clip smaller. If we click and drag this little yellow, uh, yellow line there and you drag that, this will uh, change the length of the duration of how long it's going to speed up or speed or slow down. So now if we push play, you can see it's really, really fast. Um, this is the max, I believe. So two times, whoops. And if you push play, it does that for you, uh, which is really cool. The next one we have is detach. Of course, if you have audio attached to it, you could detach um, stuff like that. Um, cool. So the next one we have is uh, duplicate. Uh, this will just uh, make a copy of your of the video that's selected, click on that, and we'll just make a copy. The next one we have is the um, audio here. If we select our audio, and we can lower the audio in the background so it's less um, less distracting. Or we can increase it, of course. You can go higher than 100%, which is really cool. And we could also fade the song. So we, if you see the triangle, that means it's going to fade the song. Uh, which is really cool. It has a fade in and a fade out, I believe. Um, so that's an awesome feature there. Now the next one we have is the transition. So if we go and select, if we tap in the middle in between the clips here, it's not going to work there. Let me try it right here. Um, if we have, we have theme. So if we push play uh, from the beginning here, we'll just do that. Not a big uh, deal here, but I have to change this to like, Right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and split this, go back, split, and then I'm gonna delete this part because it's one continuous shot. And now if we push play, okay. we'll do that, which is really cool. The next one we have is dissolve. Of course, you guys can do this in your own time, but to, to save some time, um, you have a lot of stuff here. Now on the left, this is how long the duration of the transition will appear. So if we, if we do one and a half, 
the longer the transition will be. Uh, now, if we do, uh, if we mute the audio, of course, this does not have any audio, but if you want to mute it, you can do that as well by pressing this right here. If, I'm not sure if this has audio. I think it does have audio. And to delete a clip, of course, you just select it, press delete, and that will delete the clip for you. The next one we have is this one here. It will apply a filter. It's like a quick a uh, action if you go to the settings here. It's just the same thing, but it, it allows you to uh, access it much quicker. So it's a really nice effect here that you could do. Um, now, the next one we have is this undo button that will just undo whatever you've done. If you push the play button, that will allow you to play it. And if you press on the question mark, this will allow you to get um, some help in between the clips and stuff. I forgot to show you one last thing here, and that is the text. Now, the text is really cool. If we go to text and press the T, it gives you really cool like animations in between each title. So if we tap on this one, it's like a lower third depending on where you have this selected. So if you have opening, this will just have it opening if we do middle or closing. Uh, I like the gravity one just because it's really cool. You could do it lower, so it'll be like a lower third. You could do expand, which is cool too. But uh, I'm going to do this one. You could also do it lower, but uh, I like that one. So when you have it selected, all you got to do is uh, tap on the text. That's to edit the text. So you can do... Us I'm going to do Los, and then here I'm going to type, even though it's not really Los Santos, but that's okay. <laughs> that's Blaine County, but that's okay. All right, now we've, now if you uh, if you go back by pressing the, the T there, it will take you back. Just keep that in mind that if you want to apply it to a certain uh, video, uh, a certain time, you're going to have to split the clip. So push play gives you this really cool animation, which is really awesome. Uh, of course, you could change it. Uh, Maybe I just want it right there, and that's, and I want it to fade out from there. You're gonna have to split the clip, and then now the text will go away. Um, it's really weird, but I guess that's how iMovie is made on the iPhone and on the PC, I believe, or on the Mac. So when you're ready to export, click on Done. First of all, you're gonna have a this option here. It tells you how long the video clip is, when you've edited, and if you push Play or this little button there, it will give you a preview of the whole entire video clip. And when you're ready to export, click on this and click on Save Video. You can save it to, to your phone or iTunes or iCloud Drive and vice versa to these other apps as well. If we click on Save Video, it's going to give you an export size. So we're going to go with full H, well, it's not full HD, it's 720. And then we'll say Exporting Movie and it will export it to your phone, which is a really nice um, feature there as well. So if you found this video helpful in any way, please leave a rating in the rating section below. Leave a comment down for what you guys want to see next. Of course, the next tutorial will be on the trailers. So stay tuned for that. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.